shying away from who's been more disappointing. Now we're going to talk about individual players and players that have been surprising us. We're each going to list three. And the kick to this topic is that none of these players we're going to mention have ever been all-stars. So these are players that are just ascending now. For me, I have three players, right? Julius Randle is one of them. He's having a career season last year. Everybody bashed Julius Randle this year. He's played defense. He's done what he had to do. He's averaging 22, 11, and 6, and his efficiency is really good right now. I think he deserves a lot of credit. My second player is no other than Christian Wood. Christian Wood has surprised a lot of people who have not been watching basketball that intensely because last season with the Pistons, he showed flashes of this. Now with the Rockets, Steven Silas told them, we want to play you like Porzingis, and he has kept his word, and he has played him like Porzingis. He's playing phenomenal, averaging 23.5 points per game, he's really 11 good. rebounds, and he's averaging two blocks too. You know, he's a lengthy center. Even though I think he could add more muscle because he gets bodied by bigger centers, I think he's a really good rim protector because he has that length. And the third is Jeremy Grant. He's averaging 25 <clears throat> points per game. He went to the East and just made it a mission to dominate the Eastern Conference. <laughs> like, this guy's playing well, and I think if it wasn't for Jeremy Grant and the spark that he gave Detroit, we might look at we, we might be looking at Detroit in an even worse position than they are right now. Blake Griffin has been a disappointment. He's been terrible. He has been really, really bad. He's basically turned himself into a spot-up shooter. Jeremy Grant is their best player and their best scorer, and he has surprised me so far. You want me to go next? All right, so you picked the three easy ones. I think you picked a lot. Christian Wood is a fan favorite of yours. You liked him since last year. So I'm, I'm going to go off the board. So my number one pick is Jordan Clarkson. I think 18 points per game, 25 minutes. He's unloaded off that bench. He's become that spark for the Utah Jazz. He's, they gave him the keys, and they said, listen, we just want you to score. And that is something Jordan Clarkson is really good. He's ignited that team, and he is one of the key reasons why they're on a seven-game win streak. So that's my number one guy. Number two, Malcolm Brogdon. I think he's improved in every category. And it, it's last year he kind of did the same thing and kind of fell off. But I don't think that's going to happen this year, averaging 23 points a game. I think he's going to be that efficient guy, and he's been running that team well, and they got them at the top. So that's number two. And then number three, this guy, <laughs> this guy I'm going to pick. It's going to be funny. <laughs> number three is Shake Millen. I think 17 points a game, 50% shooting. 35 and the three, 87 from the free throw line. I think he's been really good for that Philly team. And I think with Philly, the spacing has helped Embiid become an MVP candidate and Shake Milton is one of the prime reasons. So I went with three under the radar guys and two bench guys. So that's the guys I'm going with. All right. So you feel special or something? A little bit, just a little bit. At first, I want to give a shout out to two honorable mentions, Christian Wood, Jeremy Grant. I felt like they were easy though. I didn't I I tried to diversify a little bit here. I'll start with Chris Boucher, who's been awesome for Toronto. That's an easy one. Just, <laughs> just a fairly saying. easy one. Just Neither saying. of you guys said it, though, so <laughs> it can't be that easy. He's 28 years old. You know, he's only 6'7". You kind of thought you knew what you had, and he's come out and he's really blossomed. I mean, he's put up career highs in almost every night. No- in only 23 minutes a night, he's averaging like 15.5 points a game seven rebounds, two and a half blocks, and he's got the highest PER on the Raptors by over 10 points. So really? He's, he's like 6'9". He's b- you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, I just searched it up. I, yeah, I knew that. Because I knew he wasn't 6'7". Yeah. He was That's like, why he's 6'9". He's very lengthy, though, so. Well, undersized at his position, I would say, at the center position, nonetheless, he's he's been really good. He's been probably one of the only bright spots for that Raptors team this year. So he's been really impressive. I'm going to go with Curry, but not Steph Curry. Uh, Seth Curry. Okay, okay, okay. Has been a okay. huge addition for the Sixers. He was super underrated on that Mavericks team, too. I thought one of the most yep. efficient scorers. One of the team. most efficient shooters, I should say, in the league. One of the best three-point shooters in NBA history, statistically. Um, but, yeah, he's been really good, and he's added a different dimension to that Philadelphia team that they didn't have last year with the shooting. Yep. And the, and the last guy, a guy who I actually had to check if he had ever been an All-Star because I thought he had, but I guess he hadn't behind the number one guy, C.J. McCollum. And it's a guy who I talked about okay. the Trailblazers potentially moving on from this offseason, but he has been right up there with Damian Lillard, if not better this season. And we're talking about a guy who, like Chris Boucher, you kind of thought you knew what you had, and he's just stepped it, a whole, stepped it up a whole nother level this season. 
again, I don't know if it's sustainable. I don't think that this is what you're going to get over out of him over the course of a season, but he's been really good, and him and Dame are really keeping the Trailblazers' heads above water right now despite a lot of defensive troubles and rotation issues. But I think, I think he's been really good this year. Those are some good picks, but I just want to let you know two of those were easy ones. <laughs> CJ and Chris Boucher. I feel like Mons was definitely. I don't, the, I don't think Chris no, Boucher like, was. An I easy think his pick. list was definitely like. Well, I hit, didn't yeah. expect it. Yeah, I didn't expect. I had to go it. dig deep because. But Jack tried no to throw shots. Yeah, Jack <laughs> throw, threw shots. He's talking about you. You didn't pick him. He just, I, I seen that. I seen Jack that. threw shots, and two of his players were players that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys said it was an easy pick, but neither of you said anything about him. Not even honorable I'll, mention. I, I didn't I would, say. I didn't say Chris Boucher because. I thought he was an easy one, so thought, that's why I put Randall. But in you there. said Jeremy Grant. I said Julius Randall, though. Okay, but I feel like those. I feel like like your three, and then your two. I I knew somebody were gonna say him, so I went guys that were surprising for real, for real. Like, no, nah, you. I did knew. A great I job knew you were gonna do. I knew one of you guys were gonna say Chris Boucher. That's why I said but Julius. I, Randall. I knew somebody was gonna say Christian Wood. Like I knew somebody was gonna say. Christian I mean, why Wood. wouldn't you add Christian Wood in this list? That's just disrespectful. Not. Nah, to it's me. like surprise. Like, who, who? So so are these? Are we gonna have to totally redo the list now? Because no, apparently so these thinks, guys aren't surprising no. at all. Who thinks Shake Millen's gonna average seventeen points a game? Like who? Who thought Chris Wood's gonna average twenty four? Okay, and who thought <laughs> Jordan Clarkson was gonna put up? 18 who thought Jamie Green was gonna average twenty five? I mean, yeah, but these come are on. These, all of these picks are good. You guys are just hating. Especially <laughs> Jack. You were throwing shots. You I did not shots. throw a shot. You threw a shot at me first, saying it was an obvious pick. <laughs> nah. But neither of you guys said anything about him. No, you did, though. You did throw the nah, shot first. Nah, because he threw the shot first. That's what made me say that. But, Alan, what's your list? Who are your three players? I'm going to be honest. My my three, they, these are a cakewalk. These are um, name brand names. I'm going to start with um with Shy. You know, I like, I like his new fit in the Clippers. I like the way it looks. And... I just I think that is gonna help him excel as a player. And okay, Shai Gilgis, Alexander. Yeah, oh, yeah, on the Alexander. thunder, on the thunder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and another one I like is also R.J. Barrett. I know, yeah. I know, you're a fan favorite, of R.J. Barrett. I lo- I like the way he he and also Rivers play. They line <laughs> yeah, up good. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Where's Cam Reddish right now? He's hurt. He's left nowhere. Knee, left knee contusion. He's nowhere. That's where he is. <laughs> And um, my last one is um, John Morant. John Morant, he's he's just a bona. F- he's a, he's an all star just waiting to happen. Like he's, he's just a, a problem. Yeah, you wanted to throw shots on RJ. Where's Cam Reddish? You I just, picked. I just you, told you left you knee contusion. I just to, told you that. You picked Cam Reddish to win Rookie of the Year last season. Those are a biased pick, though. You knew and I then, was, like come on. <laughs> and then this year, I didn't pick you, him to win anything. You keep hating on RJ Bear. RJ Bear has been playing phenomenal these last five games. He has been balling out. Cam Reddish plays with a ball hogging point guard. Come on, Trey Young makes the game so much easier for everybody else. Left knee. Cam contusion. Reddish just doesn't hit his shots. That's what it is. Left knee contusion. He, the same thing he did at Duke. He's not hitting his shots. He's the best defender in the league, so it doesn't matter what you say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. So just to wrap things up, I picked Julius Randle, Christian Wood, and Jeremy Grant. You picked Jordan Clarkson, Malcolm Brogdon, and Shake, and Shake Milton. You picked the two easiest guys, Chris Boucher, <laughs> CJ shots. McCollum, and your third was who? Seth third? Curry. Seth Curry. Yeah, I had the no. easiest list, but you can't even remember the third I, guy. I told you you list. had two. You had two that were that were uh, that were obvious. And you, Alan I don't, had. I wouldn't say Chris Boucher is obvious. I don't think a lot of people know him. And Allen and Allen had uh, Ja Morant, Shay, Ja, and RJ. So you had players, two players that were drafted in the same class, and one that was drafted a year before. So that's the list. Those are the those are the players that have been most surprising to us. 